Hey guys, what's going on? Tua Cruz here with... Dundes. We're here with Tuan-chan and we're here at... Ima doku ni imasu ka? Morikoro Park. Morikoro Park. Yeah. So we're here at Morikoro Park's cycling course. We're out here on our road bikes today. Tuan's on her road bike and I'm also on my cyclocross bike. Still testing out the solid airless tires out here and we're out here. This is actually a cycling course, a dedicated cycling course, five kilometer course. We've made a couple of videos out here about this course on the channel, but today we felt like coming back out here, enjoying the nice weather. We're right in the middle of rainy season. It's been raining every day, but today we finally got a sunny day. So let's go ahead and get started with today's ride. Yeah, let's go. Jishima, how's it going? Yeah, there's a lot of people here today. So you can see this is the rental area here. You can rent a bike if you if you don't have a bike of your own. And there's a couple other people out here today. It's a little less crowded here on the weekdays. So we haven't really been out here with the whole virus situation and everything going on, but it was too nice a day to not come out today. Anyway, let's get started with today's ride. Let's go. Okay. Okay. So we enter the course from over here. If you bring your own bike, you go this way. And Tunchan's actually testing out her new road shoes today. So we. We got these new shoes here from Santic, and she's normally riding her mountain bike shoes, mountain bike pedals out on when we go cycling outside. But today she's got the, the road pedals. These are the Favero Asuma power meter pedals. So she's not used to the road shoes. And we've had some fun today with her getting used to that. Yeah. Mountain no kutsu to kurabetara dou. Mountain no kutsu no hou ga ii. Aruki yasui. So, mo narita kara. Chotto hajimete. Yeah, hajimete da kara chotto aruki nukui. Mm. So yeah, she's she's learning the difficulties of walking in road shoes. Anyway, let's get started. Start. Tikimasu. And they've got a lot more labels out on the course now than they did before. They've got a whole bunch of different signs explaining the rules. I guess they're taking some extra precautions to be extra safe. And with the whole virus and everything, they didn't really have any different changes here. I was thinking they might require us to wear masks out on the course, but uh, fortunately, I, I don't know, <laughs> fortunately, we don't have to wear them. I, I normally wear the mask when we go out normally, like walking and stuff, but it's, it's way too much when you're cycling. It's way too hot out here. No, <laughs> oh. oh. So she's not doing so bad considering it's her first oh. time. Oh, there you go. Jozu. So we're actually coming out here also to, to film a little photo shoot for these shoes over for our partner sponsor, Santic. They've been sending us some nice goodies and we're helping film some photo shoots for them. Or actually, Chun Chan is, she's the, she's the better model of us. And so if you haven't seen any of our other videos on this course yet, we've made a couple of videos out here. I've done some events here, some races. Yeah. Oh, there goes the Linimo. That's the maglev train automated maglev train around here. So yeah, we've made a couple of videos out here. It's a five kilometer course, cycling only, and it's a great place to come out and spin. You're really not supposed to ride like too hard out here. You can if you do it early in the morning before anyone's out in the course, but often this place will be filled with families, people on dates with their children. So you really can't go out here when it, and go crazy out on the course when it's too busy. But fortunately, during the weekdays, it's not too bad. And we are lucky to be unemployed at the moment. So we can come out here during the weekdays. It's a nice course. This is a really beautiful park. There's a whole bunch of other attractions here. I think Tuan's gonna come back over here and film some walking videos. But there's the, they're planning to build the Ghibli Museum here. Or not Ghibli Museum, but like Ghibli theme park. So they're working on building that. That's going to be released in the next few years. There's a, an indoor skating rink, a water park, a giant Ferris wheel, <laughs> tennis courts, a whole bunch of athletic facilities, and a whole bunch of different walking paths. It's a really beautiful park. And there's a bunch of stuff here. You all right? Oh, the chain fell. Oh, okay. I'm not exactly sure what to do with it. <laughs> Let me see if I, I can help push the wrong gear. Ah. Yeah, the only way is to really like squeeze it between here, mm. but you can see like the gap between it's this two. Big, huh? No. It's just going to cause more damage to the mm. frame. So unfortunately that person, they rammed their chain 
outside of the, the chain ring. And so the only way to get it back is to squeeze it between the chain ring and the frame. And it's a triple up front, so there's no room. We tried. The only way is to, you're just gonna have to brute force it and it's gonna just damage the frame or the, the chain. So unfortunately, she's stuck. That's a big bummer, but at least she'll still be able to go back and she could rent another bike if she still wants to ride out here. Hopefully, we, we don't have any bad luck today. Our last time we tried to go on a road ride together, actually her front spoke broke. We just got that fixed. We pick up her wheel from the, the bike shop today. So we're able to go out for today's ride. Man, mechanical suck. Mechanical sucks and body issues suck. So crazy story, I woke up yesterday with, a, I think the term is stiff neck. Is that what you call it? This has never really happened to me before, like just a little bit where my neck would be sore, maybe from a bad night of sleep. But yesterday it was really bad. Like I was barely able to move without some pretty big pain in my neck. And <laughs> Tuong Chun was making fun of me, calling me like an old man. And it was really rough. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I started to feel pretty old and I wasn't able to do like basic things, turning my head without feeling some serious pain. And so I was extra careful when I went to bed last night, trying to, trying to recover from this as quick as I can. And it's still a little bit sore today, but I'm, I'm able to move a little bit more, like we're able to do this ride, but man, the things you take for granted. So I'm gonna have to be extra careful about that in the future. If you guys have experienced this issue, let me know if you have any advice so that it doesn't happen again. And anyway, we just passed the one kilometer marker on the course. They have markers every kilometer, so there's five total kilometers on the course. And there's a couple different cool views along the way. We're going at a more relaxed pace today, so I'll try and stop and show you guys some of the interesting things on today's ride since we've been switching to do some more of these more relaxed exploration ride style videos lately which is nice for me because it lets me sort of relax more, enjoy the ride, and also show you guys some more interesting things along the way. I don't have to worry about cutting up these videos and just <laughs> showing the most interesting parts because really everything's interesting, I think. This is the downhill part. And you gotta be careful on this turn. It can be a pretty fast turn. And they have some little rest stations like this along the course, nothing special, just a, a parking area and a bench for sitting down. Uh, but yeah, we're only one kilometer into the course. I don't think we need to rest quite yet. There's no view there or anything. And I really recommend watching some of my videos on this course from other parts of the year, some different seasons. The fall video is especially stunning, like going through here, just all the fall colors and the leaves, and the leaves scattered on on the course. So definitely check out the fall video or one of the fall race videos if you haven't seen those yet. And here we're going through the, the chicane area, the switchbacks. This is really fun at race speed. They hold multiple races here throughout the year. Every, every other month or so, they'll hold some kind of race here. The problem is they're mostly enduro style races, which means enduro races in Japan are a completely different style race. It means basically everyone starts together. It doesn't matter what category you are. And so everyone's out on the course at the same time. And you can imagine that gets very chaotic very quickly. especially when you're in the lead group and you're just whizzing by like crazy fast and then you're passing the slower groups on the side and they're not all the way to the side. So it's a recipe for disaster, for crashes and unfortunately I've been in one of those crashes before and broke a really nice bike doing that. So yeah, you gotta be careful. There's sometimes people all over the course, 
like that. A lot of beginners out here. And even, for example, the family we saw earlier, the, the mother and her son, the son was riding backwards on the course because, I mean, obviously he's separated from his mother, so it's a sort of unavoidable situation. There's no real other good option. But yeah, this should be a one-way course. Otherwise, it's really dangerous if you're, if you're riding really fast and then you see some kid riding backwards on the course. It, it's a really dangerous situation. That's another reason why they don't want you riding too fast out here. So if you're riding slow, like this kind of pace, relatively most any dangerous situation is uh, avoidable. So we're still going downhill. I love this view. I love this turn, this downhill. And over to the side here, we've got some more walking nature courses. There's a whole bunch of different flower gardens and stuff here too. And you can actually park up here and you can go explore some of the other parts of the park here, some of the other attractions. So part of the, the Ghibli exhibit is pretty close to here actually, if we were to get off here and go over there. And unfortunately, there have been some people who've passed away on this course. I'm not sure if it's like multiple people, but I know for sure one person did pass away on this course a couple years ago. He was a new cyclist. He just got a road bike and he was riding on the course without a helmet and was descending down that hill really fast. And I guess just lost control of his bike, wasn't able to stop and yeah, just crashed into that corner and passed away, unfortunately. So you do got to be careful. Got another little rest area here, water fountain. We're at the three kilometer mark, so 2.1 kilometers to go. And we got a nice variety of trees in here too. Some of them are labeled with the type of tree that they are, but um, I don't know the tree names, the tree varieties in English, so even if I read it in Japanese, I'm not going to know what it is. But some of them are from different prefectures. So at least you can understand that information, like uh, different parts of Japan, trees that are usually native to different parts of Japan. We're in Aichi Prefecture, by the way, for anyone who doesn't know. Aichi Prefecture is in the center of Japan. And this is another fun turn on the race. After you turn on this, you get to the straightaway sort of downhill sprint section. So sometimes I'd come out here and train with uh, some sprint groups and we'd always do our sprints after this turn. This is a bathroom area. We got baseball fields for training here. So a lot of the local high schools will come over here for their training or club teams will come over here. Baseball's huge in Japan. I had no idea before I moved here actually. It's kind of embarrassing. I had no idea how big baseball is as a sport here in Japan. And we've got a nice little lake over here, little pond. And this is where the sprint finish will go to when we do our sprint workouts out here. Haven't done any of those lately, unfortunately. A lot of professional Kirin racers will actually come out here and train on this course. So the group that I used to train with, there were a lot of people that were aspiring to be professional Kirin racers and there were some really fast people in that group. So this is the line we'd usually sprint to right here. Off in the distance right there, we got the Linimo, the Maglev train, and also an Ikea, or Ikea, however you pronounce it. The brutal thing after the sprint workout is we've got this little climb here. So the course is half a climb, half a descent. And after sprinting, the climb is especially tough.
Tuang is rocketing up the climb today though. And they've always got some interesting attractions for the kids, little playgrounds here. Then over here we got one of the main parking lots. Pretty empty today. And then over there is the indoor water, indoor water park and indoor skating rink. So definitely a way different feel here when you're riding in the summer compared to riding in the fall. That's another reason why I wanted to film another video here to show the difference. You can sort of hear some of the insects and bugs in the background. So we're starting to get the cicadas here. Those are going to be really loud in the near future. That guy was on Santec shorts. That's really cool. So Santec is a pretty big popular global brand now. They're based out of China, but they sell their stuff pretty cheap online on like Amazon, AliExpress, a couple different distributors. And man, we've been a big fan of their stuff for years. They were one of our first sponsors on the channel, our first products that we reviewed a couple years ago, over two years ago now. And it's cool to see some people wearing their stuff out in the wild. Mita, kare santik no zubon kitata. Oh. Uh. And we got a couple other tunnels here as we finish up the lap. Beautiful, nice, peaceful day today after We've had two weeks basically of straight rain every day. <laughs> so we had a nice break, but we got the rain coming back again. Tonight, cognac. Cognac food, right? So rain's coming back tonight, and then it's going to be raining every day again. Here we are, coming to the end of the course. We got the yellow paint to warn you to slow down. See the other cool thing about the course, they got paint all over it. They got some red sections, some blue sections. And you always gotta get off between laps. All right, so we just finished with a lap. ま、気持ちいい。気持ちいい。うん。ただ歩く時がまだ慣れてないから。うん、でもハステル時なんか違う。マウンテンバイクの靴と。なんか気のせいかななんか楽。もうちょっと楽感じる。うん。うん、大体